What's up, guys? Um, Want to touch base for a second about training. So I built a handle um, this past weekend, maybe late last week. And it's basically just a wrist wrench. You know, it's nothing special. Um, it's just PVC. It's got some, some sandpaper tape to it. These caps pop off, um, which is kind of important to this last detail. So we've probably all seen Devin's multi-spinner and how he has it so you can slide your hand through and it's strapped to you. Well, I put a strap on the wrist wrench here and I've been playing around with it. And everybody kind of knows the applications for this typically, which is just uh, you know cable work and all that. I've been trying some uh, one-handed deadlifts with it, try to get my cupping strength a bit better. Um, but there was like another thing that kind of uh, I found, and it's really due to the strap. So I made a video of it. Let me uh, pop it over here. So, basically, there's a strap right there. Put my hand through it, similar to Devin with the multi-spinner. So you want that pocket there, right? You want that pocket there to come through, kind of the way Devin explains it too. And it allows you to get that pocket in between your hand you put both on here for a second just so I can see it better. So it allows you to get that pocket between your hand and your fingers, right? You want that pocket right through here so that your hands never, your, your hands really not touching the other person's hand. And that's, it's mostly for hooking, but still it's worth saying. Um, so as I start to move forward, I can bicep curl through my wrist. And what's good about it is as I get to the top here, I can let go. I don't even really need to hold on to it. And what's, cause what I've noticed whenever I've worked my bicep, especially with just gravity, just free weights, is when, if you really lean over to get the most out of gravity, which means that your forearm is basically parallel to the floor, um, you have to do it with a flat wrist. Otherwise the dumbbell is really not easy to manage. Um, so it's really tough because anything in arm wrestling, I wanted to apply 100% to what I do on the table. And I would never, ever use my bicep with a flat wrist. It just doesn't make any sense. So what's nice about it, let me go ahead and go back to just the video, get my ugly face out of there, is that I'm able to start the movement at the bottom with a flat wrist, and I'm able to bicep curl up and wrist curl at the same time. And I can tell you with that strap applied to the back of my hand, when the weights get really, really hard and the weights get really, really heavy, um, it's a really good, it really wrenches my wrist open. Now you can do that without the strap part too. Um, it's just a bit different stimulus. Uh, you probably won't be able to handle as quite as much weight because it will start to roll into those fingers really hard. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing either. But it was just a really interesting feeling when I was starting to play around with that, how it was really trying to roll me out as I got tighter. And you can see if, you know, the way my elbow is tucked in, um, the way my elbow is tucked in at this angle here, I'm actually getting a little bit of side pressure at the top too. So really kind of just gives you that stability through the shoulder, gives you that stability through the bicep, and it also allows you to cup super, super hard at the top and have some significant resistance up there too. So I um, thought that was worth talking about. And another application that's maybe um, specific, you might, people might not even do this, but I do it from time to time, especially when I'm kind of beat up. Um, let me go back to the video. I need a producer. So reverse curls with this thing feel amazing to me. It's always been kind of difficult for me to do reverse curls um, without feeling like I don't have control of whatever I'm, I'm holding on to slash wrapped around the back of my hand. So I don't really like to hold on a super hard amount when I'm doing my wrist work just because I kind of do this especially as rehab and I don't want to stress out that really busy intersection that my wrist is already 
you know, involved with. Plus, if I'm squeezing real hard, or even if I'm squeezing at all on a dumbbell and I'm trying to reverse curl at the same time, it's kind of like a, uh, it's almost like trying to bicep curl and do a tricep extension at the same time. It's really not optimal, I don't think, especially for rehab. Um, what's nice about this is you don't have to hold on and at the top, at the bottom, it never feels like you're losing control of the weight because it's, you know, it's tied to you. So just to kind of give you a little tutorial, just reverse curl it up to where my uh, forearms parallel to the floor. That's how it's, it's trying to actually bend my wrist back or I'm sorry, it's trying to, it's trying to bend my wrist into a wrist curl the way it's wrapped and you just lift it and, and uh, do a few reps. So right there, just nice and easy wrist curls or reverse curls. You don't have to even like hold it with your bicep if you really want to. You can put it on your, you know, on your leg or something. But uh, just an interesting stimulus. I always like. Uh, I think the more stimulus you kind of involve, especially if you're outside of uh, competition coming up, I think the best thing you can do is kind of try to do a little bit of everything because I think it just creates better opportunity for uh, finding new things and, and growing a bit. So. Hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, then that's fine too. But yeah, I don't know how. The, I don't know how. If you have a real wrist wrench, not just my uh, redneck version of it here, but if you have a real one, I don't know if there's caps on the end of those. Uh, if there's not, then just loop a strap through it. If there is, you could probably just put a strap over it. I don't think it would really be. Uh, the strap's not doing a whole lot of work, other than just keeping you kind of you know, secure in there. And with mine, especially with that sandpaper, it doesn't take much pressure with that strap and the sandpaper. My hand's not going anywhere. So uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Peace, y'all.